Good afternoon. It has been nearly three weeks since that deadly crash, and today we're getting a first look at the chaotic scene and the police interview of that driver under investigation. News 13's Rachel Knapp is in the newsplex with the video. Yeah, Kim, police lapel video shows just how horrific that crash was and how emotional it was for everyone on scene. The scene was chaotic. Who was in this vehicle? Anybody? You were in this one? First responders were quickly to pry open the doors of a Ford Fusion Uber. Robbie Gallegos and Christina Martinez were in the back seat. Both died from the impact. The Uber driver is shaken. You okay? I'm okay. I'm just were you driving? This is lapel video from the crash late last month. The Uber driver tells officers he didn't see the other car coming. What happened? Uh, I was I was making left turn to go this way. Oh my gosh! Okay. And then what happened? Um, I saw a car coming, and it was, it was about. Uh, I saw it that it was about right there. See where that car is right there? Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, it, uh, up the road. I I thought I had plenty of time. I made the turn. I don't know where the car came from that hit me. Police say a man in a Kia sedan crashed into the Uber as the Uber was trying to make a left turn on the Pan American Freeway from Alameda. I was right there at that light, but all I heard was boom, I didn't see it. The crash sent the Kia driver to the hospital. <laughs> Police suspect he was drunk, and he quickly lawyered up after being read his Miranda rights. What I would ask you to do in your case um, is an eye test, alphabet test, and numeric countdown test, all right? Do you want to perform those tests, yes or no? No? I, I need to know verbally. No, sir. All right. Back at the scene, the Uber driver was still in disbelief. So I'm freaking out because it's like, I don't know, did I just do that? Like, was that a misjudgment on my part? While police are investigating the Kia driver, he has still not been charged with a crash. His name has not been released. Kim. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Now, police say it does take some time for those toxicology results to come in to see if that driver was drunk. His blood was taken. The Uber driver was given a field sobriety test that night and was cleared.